Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Liftoff. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. The suits are probably twice as old as I am. They were not built for people who are my size. There's a lot of different reasons why humans decided to explore space. Some of it is just engraved in our DNA. We're naturally curious as humans. We come from an area who had ancestors that were seafarers. They traveled the oceans, people who traveled through the desert and navigated it very well. So it's in our DNA for us to want to explore new frontiers. Nouran Matrushi, the first Emirati and Arab woman astronaut, and Mohammed El Mullah, a former Dubai police pilot, were selected in 2021 and are the most recent additions to the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center's astronaut team. We went to Johnson Space Center, Houston, Texas. I've been through a lot of training when I was a pilot, but astronaut training is totally different. Part of training as an astronaut is pushing your limits. So you always push your limits physically, mentally, and emotionally. Nora and Mohammed follow in the footsteps of Hazar Mansouri and Sultan al Nayadi. Hazar became the first Emirati in space in 2019, embarking on a scientific mission to the International Space Station. Engines full power and lift off of Crew 6. Go Dragon, go Falcon. In 2023, Sultan completed a six-month mission on the ISS, becoming the first Arab astronaut to perform a spacewalk. It does look very scary and it is dangerous. But for us who are in the environment, we know that even when things go wrong, we'll be able to handle it. The first time where I actually got into a cockpit and I was the one in control of it. That was very exciting for me. Okay, here we go. Ratchet up 4 g Paul. Went supersonic, basically faster than the speed of sound, which was very amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to one day actually make it to space and hopefully go even faster than the speed of sound. For them to simulate zero gravity, we spent seven hours under the water in this huge suit that astronauts wear. It's heavy, it's 130 kilograms. The suits are probably twice as old as I am. They were not built for people who are my size. The uh, suit engineers did their best to be able to fit me in the suit. I was small inside a big suit. There was a lot of air. The divers that are there to help us had to put a lot of weights on the suit for them to be able to help me uh, reach neutral buoyancy. Without gravity, the laws of physics behave differently. This unique environment allows scientists to conduct potentially life-saving experiments that could never be carried out on Earth. As they say, astronaut is the hand of the science, the eyes of the science. معنى المرض بشكل عام ممكن أن تكون أمراض ناتجة من عدوى فيروسية أو بكتيريا وممكن تكون أمراض ناتجة عن خلل في الأعضاء الداخلية. 
There is a huge group that are all working together on these experiments in space. Beyond advancing medicine, space exploration is also playing a role in tackling climate change. At the Space Center, a team of engineers led by Amir Saeed El Ghafri is developing satellites that monitor critical changes on our planet, helping to protect its future. These satellites provide us with uh, space data that can help us uh, either predict, uh, prevent or recover from uh, disasters and this will improve our food security, uh, air quality, health, as well as, you know, preventing uh, many species including uh, humans from extinction. It also helps us monitor any activity of uh, deforestation that is happening globally. Uh, we can use uh, our space data to uh, prevent it from happening in an uncontrollable way. Uh, these are the lungs of Earth and we realize that there are so much that we still need to learn about our, our universe. To do that we need quite advanced technology beyond what we know today. That's why we continue to seek research and innovation and development of things that will enable us to do more. Exploring further into space will require new technology. One example is the Rashid rover, built to explore the moon's surface and reveal more about our closest neighbor. The moon has always fascinated me, and I think it's always fascinated everyone. There is something special with the moon. I love to solve problems, and you need to operate with very harsh environment, like the temperature that goes either very high or very low. You need a communication system that is robust, that is reliable. I'm working on hardware that enables the rover to communicate uh, with the Earth. These should be compact in a very lightweight rover, so it's very challenging. Because we want to study the next closest heavenly planet, the moon, to us, it will give us uh, big lessons on the surface of the moon. This is the place where we put everything together, starting small until we grow the whole rover. The feature that I really like about the rover is its size. It's only 10 kilograms that is able to, to drive for hundreds of meters, do the communication, do many science, and still it's only 10 kilograms. We want it to operate in an optimum way on the moon. It might be months, it might be years, that all our components are tested, making sure that they operate as we are expecting them, and then putting it together. It's not only building the rover, it's also making sure it arrived there and it sent the useful information to Earth. In 2022, Dr. Sarad Maini and her team launched the rover into space. Two, one, ignition. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying the iSpace Series 1 lunar lander. The launch went as planned, but the mission was far from over. The rover still had to survive the most difficult part of its journey. It needed to land on the moon. The rover crashed on the moon, and the mission came to an abrupt end. I tried not to cry, not to show any emotions. It gave us a lot of lessons. Um, and here we are today. We built the second one, ready to launch it by next year. We are heading to the moon. And also now we are four astronauts that are ready for any missions into deep space, moon, Mars, and hopefully beyond. I think that going to space is a privilege for an astronaut and once astronauts go up there, they look down on Earth, they have a different perspective. They see the Earth differently. And part of our jobs is to come back and share that experience with people. 
working together with internationals, you learn how to appreciate people's cultures. And that, I think, is really unique to our job. We are here to give the rest of the population a glimpse of what it's like to go up there because once we're up there we don't see borders, we don't see any of the conflicts that are happening here, we just see a whole planet that we are all living on. For kids to see people from their own region go to space, achieve great things, and give them hope and let them know that they also are able to achieve their dreams.